Hi, this screencast is going to walk through how you can customize the bit buttons in the web form module for Drupal 8. First off, my name is Jake Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. Well, what's new with submit buttons? Well, you can now place submit buttons anywhere on a web form. There's a new actions element that's the dedicated element for where you can place submit buttons and allows you to customize the Submit, Preview, Draft, and Wizard buttons. And all the button label styles and attributes have been moved from the web form settings to the Actions element. And I'd like to just walk you through it. I'm going to jump over, and this is a clean install. I'm going to go over to the Contact form, click through, and you can see the form. There's a Submit button. And now when you go to Edit, there's now this button here. If you haven't done any customization, this is just to help get you started. You can click Edit Submit Buttons. And now you can create a Submit Buttons element and you can set a label, so send email. Now it adds it to the bottom. If we view it, we're going to get a send email button. Now, to go a little further, I just want to show you some other customizations that you can do. Now, this is a very simple contact form, but if we collapse all, and I go down to draft, and I say, well, let's enable drafts. Um, let's hit save. Well, let's do the preview as well. Preview. We can do it optional. Boom. Now, what we're going to see if we go view the form, the settings have been saved, you're going to see this draft and preview. Now, in many cases, you want to tell someone to save the draft at the top of a form. So, I'll walk you through that. So, now we can add another actions element submit buttons. And we're going to say draft. And this is the draft button at the top. And for this one, we're going to hide most of the other buttons, but we'll keep the draft button. We could even change the label to say, save this email. Right, just showing you an example. I'm going to turn off the preview and next. Hit save. And now I have a draft. I'm going to put it at the top of the form. And just kind of giving you the idea, you can control every button on in the actions element. So now we could hide the draft button here. And now when I preview the form and I go up to, oh, I didn't hit save when I dragged up, so I got to bring it up, hit save. And now if I go view the form, we're going to have a save this email at the top, but then I'm going to have only the preview and send at the bottom. And, and the idea here is that you can totally tweak this. You can you can turn off the, the previous button for wizards. You can you always have to have a submit button because you want to be able to submit the form, but it gives you full control. And you can also put copyrights below the submit button. Just makes it a lot more flexible. And finally, I just want to quickly show you the other big benefit is if we go into settings, this has become a lot cleaner because we don't have all this button settings in here. All you've got are the settings for the form and the general behaviors. And all that data has been moved over into that one dedicated element, which you can go customize. Let me continue on forward. So what's next for Webform? Well, now that I've got the buttons working, Ajax supports more and more possible. And there's two tickets, just point them out to, to allow Webforms to be submitted in Ajax. And there is a Webform Ajax module, and we're working on porting it and trying to figure out what's the best approach. But I'd like to get the Webform supporting Ajax. And now that those buttons are customized, well, those will also always support Ajax once it's set up. Finally, closing, I just want to say, how can I help you with web forms in Drupal 8? Um, I'm available to help train and support you. We can work together to build a feature. I can help you build a feature. Um, I'm available to help you just succeed with Drupal 8 in the web form module. And you can reach me at jrockwitz.com or jrockwitz at drupal.org. And thanks.